Hello friends, this video statistics part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 3. Understand more. Now first let's understand why do we need more. Let's have a scenario. We want to find which is the most favorite subject. And we need a polling. So, three people told let's suppose physics is a good subject. Right. And then, 10 guys told that maths is a good subject. I like maths. And then, let's suppose two guys told that biology is the best subject. I like biology. 15 people told that I like games. Game subject. Game is a subject, right? In some schools. 18 people told that I like computer science. I want to be computer engineer. I like computer science. And there are 30 girls, they are saying that I like music. I want to be a musician. So if you see, we have this data where three people are saying physics, they like, 10 people are saying they like math, two biology, 15 games, 28 in computer, and 30 music. If I want to find which is the most favorite subject, can I use mean here? No. Can I use median here? No. Why? Because I want to find the average. I don't want to find where the median lies. Because it doesn't make sense here. So for such kind of data, we need more. What mode will tell? Mode will tell which has the highest frequency. For example, in this case, 30 guys like music. So we'll say the mode is music. Because the maximum number of guys like. So from a given data, you want to find the maximum occurrence. Maximum occurrence, then you have to find mode. One more example I'll take you. For example, you have student, five, five students in the class. Student A, student B, student C, student D student e, right this guy is absent five times in one month this guy is absent six times this guy is seven this guy is eight and this guy is nine so for this data let's suppose i want to find who is the guy who is most irregular then i can use mode i can say that so from this data if i want to find who is the most irregular guy i can use mode and tell that student e see actually you won't get data like this you get it like this, student A, student A, student B, student C. So for example, on Monday, all, all these guys were absent. Okay, I'll see this data, I came in tablet form, but actually you don't get data like this. When you collect data, for example, Monday, I'll say Monday student A was absent, student B was absent, student C was absent, and D was also absent, and E was also absent. This is Monday data. On Tuesday, A was present, student B was absent, student C was present, absent, student D was absent, so this is Tuesday data. So similar to that, we'll have Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all data we have. Now, I mean, this is, or we can say this is 1st of Jan, 2nd of Jan, because this data is more than 7. This is 3rd of Jan, this is 4th of Jan, so we'll have data. Now what we'll do, we'll arrange data and we'll get this in this form. And then we'll find the value for which the frequency is highest, we'll say that is the mode. And this is huge. In such scenarios where we have to find who is the most uh, irregular guy or which is the most favorite subject so for such kind of thing mean and median fails you can't use mean and median there we'll use more also one more thing to note here is let's suppose both these guys are absent eight eight days each now you want to find the mode so i can't say the mode is going to do student d plus student d divided by two so we can say the mode is student E and student D. That means both the guys are irregular. Correct. So in case of mode, in case of median, we are seeing then and the with the n is equal to even, we used to find n is equal to n by 2 and n by 2 plus 1, right? And we used to add this to n divided by 2 to find the average median. But in case of mode, we don't find average mode. So average mode is a no-no. Please remember there is no term called average mode. Average node there is nothing called average node so if there are two items which has same frequency the maximum frequency then we say the node is this comma this for example in this case both are eight so we'll say the node is student d and student d both are equally irregular got it thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.